Hello. Today I'm going to be discussing closure and what it means on a psychological level to have closure and to be able to share and convey closure. Myself, in my navigations, when I interact and speak with others and they make claims that I have questions about, I ask them for closure. For the proof of the claim is with the claimant. If you make a claim, you better be able to prove it. You better be able to qualify it, validate it, confirm it, certify it. If not, it's just an opinion. For example, I'm with the claim of teaching grammar, language tutor. I teach correct sentence structure. I teach quantum grammar. The validation of that is my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel certifies my knowledge for myself. When I ask someone for closure on a claim that they make, and sometimes someone will get angry at me and get offended that I'm not just taking their word for it, that I require proof. That tells me that either they don't have closure, they don't have the closure that they're claiming, or they don't want to share it with me for some other reason. Maybe they want to keep their closure secret. Either way, they're not sharing it. So therefore, I don't have the closure and their claim is just an opinion to me. Now someone can say, well, I don't, I don't have proof of this. I just know it. Okay? That's not closure. Or someone will say, well, this is, this is uh, the way it is because such and such said so. Okay, but what is your closure on that? You just gave me such and such as closure. I don't know about that. I want to know what your closure is. Convey it to me right now. A first-hand knowledge example of that would be the language. I can tell you if we sit down and have a conversation, I can convey to you my closure on why an adverb is an adverb, a verb is a verb, an adjective is an adjective, or a pronoun is a pronoun. I can convey to you what a positional is, a lodial is, or a fact is. I can convey to you why a vowel in front of a consonant at the beginning of a word means no contract. It's a particle of neg negation. I can convey to you why evidence is a no contract word, etc., etc., on down the line. I can do that because I have closure. And what's happening these days that I'm seeing as a YouTube viewer, which I am, I'm viewing videos from different channels who air content that is related to quantum grammar. And in the comments section, there will be comments written in sort of a bastard, bastardization of quantum and uh, plain English babble that are criticizing grammar or saying this is wrong or saying this flag is wrong or this person is disqualified or this person has that title or this title, making all kinds of claims with no qualification, with no closure. The only attempt at closure is this, and this is not closure. <laughs> I just wanted to bring that up as a psychological factor that I've had difficulty dealing with in the past, and now I just see it for what it is. It's opinion. If I ask someone for closure and they can't give it to me or they won't give it to me, well, then it's just an opinion. It doesn't matter what they're saying. It's an opinion, and as we know in our society, everyone is entitled to their opinion. However, I am with the loyalty of the correctness. And if someone makes a claim and they confirm it and certify it for me, and I get that deep closure from it, I'll come into participation with that as a fact. But until that happens... It's just an opinion. And that goes for anything and anyone. Thanks for watching. Uh, 
I apologize for any background noise. There are children in my house and uh, they're outside my domain here. <laughs> have a great day. If you have any questions, contact me in the confidential at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. Hit the thumbs up button if you like it. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell.